hello everyone and welcome back to the channel you know it's wolf and uh from the title thumbnail and what you can see on the screen you know what i'm about to talk about you know <sighs> assassin's creed shadow that is a very controversial video game when it shouldn't have been for 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 valid reason 100 percent valid because well in my in, from my perspective this is not about the fact that they went with the the male lead that they chose it's the reasons why they did it so if you guys have been living under a rock or something you know and say in the in the past past years you can see you can see the progression um there have been vested interests in uh crafting stories to push a particular message a particular narrative um one of those things is to diversify everything dei diversity equity and inclusion that and uh and another term you know um the stuff that uh the whole sweet baby um debacle was about so i get the fact that you specifically chose this setting because the timeline uh lined up where an african uh would be in in, in japan uh, and, and uh, he is an actual historical figure it just so happens that whenever we explore different regions in Assassin's Creed, uh, we normally have a, a, a protagonist or multiple protagonists, both of them representing that region. Why is it different for Japan? And uh, that is some of the criticisms uh, that Japanese people have had with the announcement of this game. I know it's just glorified entertainment and uh, this pricing structure is what's really atrocious. They're trying to rob people blind and uh, lack uh, missions, like a complete mission that was already made as part of the game is locked behind a, play, a paywall but that's just the consumer aspect of it. i'm talking about like the inauthenticity of force diversity imagine how it would look if it was the opposite a freaking assassin's creed game set in africa you know one of those famous african tribes and uh, there so happens to be some foreigner in the vicinity for a certain time period history recorded and everything not uh, not an african person and they went and did the same thing that they did here with yasuke yes you know the optics on that you know how it would look and um they would not be going for it they, um they they know what they are doing so right now it's just the the insulting of everyone's intelligence in the in the how they are trying to we know they have agendas we know why they are doing certain things and we know we know why they chose a black person to be the male lead in this video game i don't even care that much about uh the female protagonist because it's okay it's historical fiction so i'm not worrying about how historically accurate the, the story and everything is this is just entertainment at the end of the day everything today in terms of entertainment you have it in tv shows you have it in um you have it in um, um in video games everything is trying to preach a certain narrative to, to you and people get tired of it. people get tired of telling be, being told what to think what to do how to act and everything so right now every time there is even uh every time there is something that you consider moving away from the norm of uh, of, of the uh, video game culture you, people are going to ask why did they de do this what is the incentive for it and uh, the, it's their dei checklist you know the, the checklist that they have to they have to in they have to include a black person if that person was was white swap it to any other race for uh for inclusion you know for diversity if it's a woman make her strong and independent don't need no man <laughs> if it's a black woman add on make her gay in that and uh, uh, that's another point the actually information has come out that freaking yasuke will be part of the lgtv community you know but they're talking about both um uh, protagonists and uh, and uh, if you look at it they're taking um a page from the gacha game um community or the gacha game industry they're basically making both the characters um bisexual so that weirdos who want to have like um fantasies about fictional characters are so are in this case a character that probably existed to have their own romanticized relationship in their head with them so they're making them bisexual so that whosoever wants to do that um weirdness in their head 
can can do it and it gives them an incentive to buy the freaking game and if you buy the game for that reason no um there's no, nothing can help you you know nothing can help yes uh, the whole gacha game community with them with their <laughs> with their waifus and husbandos yes that's that's the term and that term is has been there before gacha it came from weep culture but on that note speaking on the consultant that they have for this freaking game the consultant is a freaking uh, a freaking menace a freaking danger to society uh, based on based on what i what i've seen so she has written a, a book and correct me if i'm mistaken the book has information depicting wanting to explore the relationships with with child boys and adult priests in this this uh this time period in japan i know a lot of atrocious shit used to happen downright borderline things that will get you stop get you shot hung freaking bring them to the guillotine in this day and age you know guillotines don't don't exist but yes outright out of the question things that should not happen in this day and age and and uh, uh things that are not tolerated so you telling me you have someone with uh red flags like that crazy laying fingers laying paws on your game in injecting their ideologies and and world beliefs into the game and uh, telling me that there are no weird themes are gonna be present because some people are gonna be even more upset about that aspect and the price or they're gonna be distracted by the by the, the ethnicity of the main character and the price and not think about what type of people are associating with the video games that we enjoy because i know i know most people talking about this uh thing didn't even know that like, a consultant working on the game well what a elite consultant or whatever she is working on the game just because she's um she has um japanese e ethnicity or at least half makes her qualified to a piece of uh, entertainment but the main thing that that's got me the people surrounding this game kind of um uh sideways or just looking at them with caution look wary of them is because of this pdf file type of activity yo people i'm not going not going even freaking mistake because you know the quickest comparison that you could say let's flip the genders imagine if it was a dude writing this stuff he would have been locked up he would have been thrown in jail for writing that stuff putting that out there and because it's a woman writing it it's it's horrible either way it does not matter the gender once it's an adult and uh, you know it's you, you you don't get a pass you don't get a pass because of whatever gender you might happen to be <sighs> we just want to freaking enjoy our escapism people we just want to enjoy our freaking music our freaking video games our tv shows um anime yo anime has been has been diverse ever since its inception what well, because we are reason why most of us are okay with the diversity that anime pushes because of, um it's not preaching to it's not there for a reason it's not like it's not there other than to organically add to the story and that is the authenticity that most of what is done nowadays is lacking without being preached at without being um reminding at every turn that yes they have a list that they need to check off and uh, in order to get their their diversity equity and uh, inclusion for uh, funding so esg to uh, to get get their esg score up so esg is another one of the uh, acronyms so esg is uh they're talking about the if your company is evaluated by one of these funding companies to reach a particular threshold regarding esg scores if you meet the required um criteria they will provide funding to you for uh any particular project that you want to work on and uh, that is the main reason why these decisions are being made okay um my camera my camera is died like no it it, it it overheated because the day is hot and uh whenever we record it it gets hot so they think we are stupid 
they think we we do not know what is going on but we 100 percent know and we just want to enjoy enjoy our entertainment without politics but because there is a monetary incentive for them to push narratives and uh, and politics in video games or any form of en entertainment medium that we consume we are never gonna be left alone to our de own devices to just enjoy good content and good entertainment i'm not even going to speak about the fact that if you if he was a samurai or not because um from what the historians are saying as long as you are accepted as a uh, retainer for Oda Nobunaga, you, that is in and of itself, you becoming a samurai. So that right there. Yo, there's also some weird stuff about the Kosho title that you would have to be of service to the person you are a retainer of some gay stuff. Weird. I don't know why these people dig up this information but it's to overwhelmingly prove a point so it is probably canon in historical events we don't know we weren't there should but should uh debunk uh, the, the claims that he's not a samurai because a lot of people have been going that angle to try and uh Look for some some other form of of cope. I don't really care. I just wanted a, a a protagonist representative of the region that the game is being set set in. They could have used uh, Yasuke for totally different reasons, uh, unbeknownst to us. We don't we don't know what's going on in those um, companies, but we do know that they are getting paid to push a particular narrative, and whenever. You are getting paid to do something we see the incentive behind behind it and we know that it is not genuine it is not organic and that is at least i don't know about anyone else that is at least my um problem that i have with it or my complaint or whatever but yeah people i know that uh, your timeline has been uh, flooded with all of this and um you're probably tired of, tired of seeing it so if you if you watch this video the entire way, I appreciate I appreciate it and I thank you. I will very much ask you for your subscription. Yeah, if you want to. And um if there is something that I feel like I enjoy and it's being and it's being like co-opted for a narrative or co-opted for a for a certain purpose, I'm going to make a video about it because I have a YouTube channel and I want to cover or talk speak about anything that I that I feel is important to me. So yeah guys, the real the real atrocity is that freaking price tag right there. But yeah, some people are gonna game the system and um play the game for the one month for this freaking eighteen dollars right here. They they're gonna subscribe to Ubisoft Plus, speed run the game and unsubscribe instantly, you know just for that which i advise you to do it's gonna it's gonna bump their subscriber numbers and it look good to their to their shareholders but um yeah you feel like you have the time to just experience the game with with the with the subscription quick in and then quick out you know yeah i advise you to do that so hey guys like and subscribe to the channel thoughts and opinions down in the comments let me know what you think honestly you know honestly because a lot of people are, are tired of hearing about it and tired of hearing about the message being preached and the agendas being being freaking forced upon the masses. I'll see you in the next one. It's Wolf. Peace out. Ekimas. Let's get this. Let's get it. Yeah.